I've got something you'll be interested in. Those performance upgrades we discussed after the last race. They're on the car and the data looks promising. Take a look at the details. So it was all blue skies here in Russia for round four of um, career mode season four today and you can see it was Bottas going over things with his engineer before we got the qualifying started. So we got um, after we got the qualifying started here it was Sebastian Bell who got started off and went first fastest of a 134.531. So on our first flying lap after that we could only manage P10 and it was, it was actually quite shocking considering how far we were actually off the pace. But as we came to our final flying lap, there's the um, overcast conditions started to come in. We got a good final sector and got ourselves up to P8 for the Grand Prix. It's going to be a challenger. Let's go. So we are here in Russia for obviously the Russian Grand Prix today. It is going to be hopefully a really classic one like it has been for the last um, three seasons. Um, but 20 degrees, it's clear, we don't expect any rain. And yeah, I am um, that's it. I want to thank you for the support actually on Career Mode so far for season four concern. The amount of years I've actually stuck with another season with this after four. But today's grid is the two Mercedes line up the front row with um, obviously just the same, they're too dominant. With Ricardo then Vettel. Then comes Gutierrez with sides behind him, Grosjean and us there behind Grosjean which is a good position with Kvyat and Verstappen, Hulkenberg and then comes Verley, two Reynolds of Kevin Magnussen and Julian Palmer, the um, force end of Sergio Perez, Felipe Massa, Valtteri Bottas, Marcus Eriksson, Fernando Alonso, Rio Harianto, Nazar and Jensen Button rounds off the grid. So um, yeah we seem to be stuck inside a half stairs coming to the grid but yeah that's um, it for the grid today and now we start 8th so it's going to be quite a challenger you do you know what turn 1 we can expect here um, turn 1 is quite known for its big in in incidents on this game um, but yeah uh, we're just about to get ready to go here in um, Russia and I'm just waiting for everybody to actually come in the final corner I don't know where everybody is yet they seem to be taking their time anyway but now the lights are coming on here in Russia to get the Grand Prix under the ways with the 5 red lights And they're out now, and away we go. It's been a horrible start for Grosjean behind us now. And you can see we've got a decent start there. There's massive contact, and oh my god! There's been a massive shunt. Holy crap! Massive contact between four cars in the back there. Five, actually. Um, virtual safety car deployed. Let's take a replay on that. Sebastian Vettel, oh my god! Oh, he actually got to take out the race. Oh, that's a shame for Vettel. And this is our view. I don't know if you've seen it. Look how close we came to getting into the back of our teammate. Then there was um, Gutierrez who just went flying up in the air and got collected by Bottas. And then there's Massa who went right to the back of his teammate, pushed his teammate into Vettel. And there's a Salpa as well. Oh my god, what a massive incident to start off this race. And Ericsson somehow got away with just slight damage. And then... Um, you can see this was Bottas's few scary moment just getting pushed behind and three cars getting squeezed in between them there. So now what a chaotic, a chaotic start. But mind we can also just gain time there on Carlos Sainz as well just to mention because we can also gain a little bit of time in the virtual safety car period. A wee cheeky obviously put the throttle down with like 10 seconds to go and because obviously the flag's going to go like 5 seconds or whatever. But now we're into the slipstream of about 5 cars here. We're going to try and make the move and take advantage of it. Down the inside we go. And my voice just went there. I don't know what the hell that was. On in Carlos Sainz. Next up is, um, I believe, Daya, yes, it is Daniel Ricciardo there. And uh, obviously, we've got so many cars in front of us as well. Um, but yes, we come into the next, um, the final few corners actually. And this is actually amazing just to mention this because we're actually in P4 if you've not noticed that already. We all this chaotic start with all the cars going off so um, yes we crossed the line to finish um, the, the, it was the start lap 2 um, coming to the end of that one obviously now as we're into the um, slipstream of Daniel Ricciardo and there's massive contact again with a Toro Rosso going spinning round there and that was a Force India who actually caused that I'm not sure 
what happened there. But now we come back live to us and we are going round the outside of Daniel Ricardo. Can we get the move done on Ricardo to take third place? Yes, we can. We are now ahead of the them. I can't mind the, the, the Red Bull driver. I was about to say Toro Rosso there. And now we skip later on this with Lewis Hamilton into the pits, making his pit stop. But now, later on, we're into the battle with Carlos Sainz. I believe this is who it is. Around the outside we go, we hold it to um, stay ahead of the Toro Rosso driver there and we're defending like mad because our pace is starting to fall off here. As you can see, we're now coming into our pits, um, into the pits in just a second because it's actually lap 10. We've skipped on 8 laps guys, to be honest, nothing happened from them. The two Mercedes just pulled away, Also, we just couldn't catch them as we come to the pits, nailing the pit limit perfectly there. And yeah, so um, the main rival was um, Carlos Sainz behind us is now as we're into our pit box. So you can see, can we get a good pit stop? Um, we got hold up a little bit, but now we're fine because we, um, we got ahead of Ricardo and Sainz comes out behind us there. So Rosberg is just coming out the pit lane there, so he's not that far ahead of us as you think they would be the Mercedes, but they've just got that extra bit of advantage. Now, where are we going to come out here? Is there anybody who's tried to do the undercut on us? I am not sure. I've never seen it there in the video, but no, I think we've all came in at the exact same time. Me, Saints, Ricardo, Perez, and all that. So we come out the pits now. We are now still in um, second, um, third place, should I say, now. So we now skip later on. And this is me and Saints into combat again, into battle, should I say. And now we come to the end of the street. Um, Saints has actually got past us there, so he's now in third place at the Russian Grand Prix because this is actually the battle for the podium. Um, yeah, because for some reason, obviously that engine power upgrade we put on um, our R&D, um, as you can as you seen at the start of the video, must help us with our engine power. Obviously we've got a lot to um, upgrade with this Ferrari car, because it's barely been upgraded, so we're actually doing so good, uh, well, so well compared to like how this Ferrari should be um, this season. We should be like midfield and challenging for points, but instead we're battling for um, Bob in third place and that was a weird voice crack there as we're now into the substream of Carlos Sainz. Can we get it to use an uh, extra Ferrari engine power as we upgraded it? No we don't, we've went too wide at the first corner, we're going to have to let him through surely. Um, but we don't, we don't need to, I don't know how, but I might let him through. Just to be fair on that, yes we do, we give him a little bit of advantage. We let him through there, but not as much as they get. he locks up, we give him the advantage. But he's locked up his brakes as we almost make contact as he comes back onto the track. Now Sergio Perez is getting involved in this. Into the next right hander we go. We've went wide. Perez just it just took the both of us. Perez just took two for one. Yeah, and now he's ahead of us. He goes defensive for some reason. We get a good cut back. We go to the outside of the track to get the best possible exit. And now he's touching tires with us. We try to go around the outside. We go off the circuit and somehow get away with it. I don't know how the FI um managed to get that illegal for some reason. We should have gave that position back, but my um, Perez may actually get it back for his cell anyway, because he's now to the slipstream of us onto the street. Perez goes to the outside, that um, force in there, the Mercedes engine is too strong. And now look at this, brilliant racing between us, we're all going to the edge of the track. We hold it around the outside for some reason, getting much better traction than the inside there. And we're still ahead of Perez to retain P3 in this Grand Prix as we skip on to lap 19. It's a mass, it's like six cars battling for third place and we seem to have a yellow in sector one, so who could that have been for? And it is Jensen Button, I believe, in the McLaren who has actually peeled off to the edge of the track to retire his McLaren Honda there. But as we now skip later on, look what's happening again. We are scrapping away with Sergio Perez for third place now, forcing the vicious Ferrari and the Haas has got past um, Saints there. Saints has made a mistake and he's lost two positions, I noticed. But now, as we skip once again onto lap 23, virtual safety car deployed for some unknown reason. I don't know why. There was no incidents, I believe. I don't know even why this happened. But as we skipped on to the end of the virtual safety car, um, it actually helped us, to be honest, because we actually got a decent amount of gap to pull away from the, the pack behind us, because we are actually much slower than Perez. But as he did catch us up later on into the Grand Prix, look how close we got to Perez at that first corner. And now Perez goes defensive. We try around the outside. Now the Haas is trying to get involved. We go around the outside. We just, um, well, we'll go off the circuit a wee bit, just get away with it. Um, the overtake there. And that's Roman Grosjean, who's up to fourth place in the Haas. Brilliant racing with only two laps remaining of this Russian Grand Prix. There's cars going side by side, believe, behind there. We get a good exit. Roman Grosjean gets a better exit, we're on board with Grosjean, we have to go defensive, he forces us to go defensive, he tries to go around the outside, much, um, so much, well, no contact, but just a wee slight bits of contact there, but now, 
Let's just skip on to the final lap. This is Sergio Perez. He got past Grosjean and now he goes defensive. We cut back to the outside. Brilliant stuff from us and Perez. And we now keep it onto the track smoothly. And now Perez is looking to lose another position to Grosjean once again. Because Perez actually did get um, past um, Grosjean that lap there. So after Grosjean actually went wide. As you can see Perez almost going into the back of us there. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant driving from everybody actually. This Grand Prix has been phenomenal and I think this video deserves about 20 odd likes guys. Can we hit 20 likes on this video? That would be appreciated also and share this video to everybody as well because it's been fantastic again. Um, but yeah the Mercedes are just comp completely dominant out in front and now it's Nico Rosberg who's going to win the Russian Grand Prix. Yeah guys, awesome. Brilliant driving. Yeah. Awesome. Well, what's that drive Nico? Yeah, well, awesome, well done. Brilliant stuff there from Nico Rosberg on the team radio there, but we come back live to us, we've been overtaken twice from Perez and Grosjean, but somehow we get past all the stuff, Ricard, Ricardo's went off the circuit, he's got taking off sub there, unbelievable stuff on this final lap of the Russian group, we make a wee mistake on the front left and could cost us dearly now as we come to the end of the lap, can Grosjean get a good exit, yes he does, Grosjean's going to attempt it at this last corner, he tries round the outside, we go wide right off the circuit, all four wheels off the um, white line as we come Come through the final corner to just hold off Perez, Grosjean and just Ricardo and Sainz as well for third place. Another podium in, in career mode season four. What a result. Brilliant stuff guys. That race was intense. I don't know about you but I'm out of breath almost with this race. So Nico Rosberg wins um, today's Grand Prix defending off Lewis Hamilton. They were covered by under a second over the line but miles ahead of third place obviously from us. But yeah, that's the results. As you can see, the Mercedes 37 odd seconds ahead. Way to be um, seen there. But now there was only like 17 cars finished this Grand Prix. Max Ericsson rounded off the last position there. So yeah, the, um, Lewis Hamilton's leading the championship by 9 points. And yeah, so it's still looking close. Brilliant um, results so far in this season um, for Ferrari. It's unexpected. Um, but yeah, comment below what you thought in this video and um, also I will definitely try and get Spain out in a couple of days time, two days time, probably that's usually when it's scheduled anyway. But there we go, click the boxes on the screen guys if you enjoyed this video, watch my Australian Grand Prix review and also Chinese Grand Prix this weekend guys, more stuff from real life for that coming out like on board moments as well. Make sure to um, get excited for that but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.